Thank you, Mr Speaker, and can I thank my right honourable friend for his statement and thank him and, and his department, the cross government working in the planning and resilience in these unprecedented weather times. Can I thank our emergency services, people in the public services, the NHS in the front line, in fire and rescue, police, and our local authorities, our transport networks, and people at large, our community volunteers. Will my right honourable friend join me in paying tribute to those people in Cumbria and right across the UK for all that they have done and continue to do to keep people safe? Well, Mr Speaker, that is a very welcome uh, question from the Honourable Gentleman, and I am, of course, more than happy to join him in thanking all those people who, as I say, played on the team uh, to get us through in such good shape. There were obviously some tragedies, uh, but the fact that we were able to minimise the number was a tribute to the work of all the organisations uh, that he mentioned. And while um, I am answering, could I also take the opportunity, Mr Speaker, to pay tribute uh, to my staff in the Civil Contingency Secretariat, who have worked round the clock um, over the last few days, and in particular closely with the Met Office as we sought to predict and prepare the country, coordinating across Whitehall and indeed all those other agencies. It's been a really remarkable effort and, um, uh, as I say, notwithstanding the, the terrible tragedies that we have seen, the fact that we got through in good shape uh, was down to all of their work.